Hey guys, my name is Ismos and today I'm excited to announce to you that Redshift is coming to Blender. Redshift is a render engine uh, that uh, uses ray tracing and it's created by Maxon, the creator of Cinema 4D. You see, the reason why Blender has found it very difficult to become the industry standard like uh, 3ds Max or Maya is its integration with other tools within pipelines. A lot of studios never just use one application. Uh, they use a lot of different applications. For example, they could use uh, ZBrush to sculpt and then Blender or 3ds Max or Cinema 4D for modeling and then rendering they could use a separate standalone application like uh, Redshift. So because Blender has never been supported by many tools like Cinema 4D or Maya, it has always found it very difficult to break through and become the industry standard or overthrow applications like Maya or 3ds Max. But with these new tools, new integrations like Redshift, Blender now stands a chance to do this. So as more and more applications like Unreal Engine create add-ons for Blender, Blender is slowly chipping away that strong influence 3ds Max or Maya has had over the industry. That's why this Redshift integration is a very, very important step for Blender. So this integration is being made by Redshift uh, themselves. After its release, you will be able to use our Redshift directly in Blender, as you can see in their demo here. You don't even have to step out of Blender uh, into a standalone uh, Redshift application. You can do everything directly here in Blender. Uh, what's amazing is that uh, Redshift also has a demo version of Redshift, which comes with all features enabled, except when you render, it adds a small watermark to your renders. And uh, if you get uh, the full license, then you can use Redshift without any watermark. So Blender getting more and more tools like this makes it easy for the industry to adapt as a standard uh, tool within their workflow. So this is very, very exciting news. And uh, if you want to check out uh, the timeline of the actual integration into Blender, you can, there is this link uh, from Trello.com. You can see how everything is being, what is being worked on and how everything is going uh, by reading th uh, through this attachment. And uh, I will also see uh, some videos on how this is going to work uh, with Blender. I see some test renders here and uh, you can see what they have already done and uh, what are uh, they still working on. You can see add-on will be available for download and to use directly with Blender. So this is very very exciting news and uh, we should always keep a lookout for any new integrations that might be coming out in Blender so that we can increase uh, the hype that Blender gets every time. So yes, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.